which I wore when I did the cosplay of Oogie Boogie, or this. Now, this may be a bit much if you're just going out for a party, but if you want to go full blown, this is an option. Also, all these little wormy guys, they glow under black light, which is awesome, except I don't know where my black light is. It's, I guess, somewhere in my Halloween stuff, but I don't know where. So just picture this glowing all lovely and beautiful. <laughs> so anyway, if you want to see how to create this look, keep watching and enjoy. Also, for those interested, here is a picture of the full costume. Nothing says sexy like a nude wig cap. I'm starting off with already primed eyes. I'm using Urban Case Thrash from the Electric Palette on the inner corner, top, and bottom. In the middle, I'm using Sugar Pills Midori and blending that into the first color, top and bottom. To help with blending, I'm adding a little bit of Sugar Pills Taco above where I'll be putting the black. I'm the color of milk, so white is my highlight. Use whatever color that is slightly lighter than your skin tone. For the black, I'm using Sugar Pills Bulletproof mixed with a bit of Midori to help blend. I'm lining my eyes with Physician's Formula Black Eyeliner Pen and winging it out. Next, add mascara. I'm using Maybelline's Falsies Mascara, and then I slap on some false lashes. With Kat Von D's Basket Case Eyeliner, I'm lining my waterline. For the lips, you can use just regular black lipstick if you want, but I use NYX Jumbo Pencil and Black Bean. I use this specifically for my lips. Time to add the little wormies. I'm using Cryolon's UV palette. The worms are super easy, just do little S's. You can do reverse S's to change it up, and you can even do different shapes if you want to get creative. With a black eyeliner pen, I'm outlining all of the worms. I'm also adding lines to make it look like little ridges. I wouldn't suggest trying to do this with an eyeliner pencil. Unless the tip is super sharp, you'll just get super thick worms. Nobody wants super thick worms. If you don't want to add the rest of the cracked wormy holes, then you're done! This is where I stopped when I did my cosplay. If you want to continue adding worms because you don't know when to stop, follow me! I'm taking black face paint from Mayron and creating splits in my face. I filled it in fully with black. The neon paints take a few layers but do cover over the black pretty well. If your face paints don't, then try drawing the worms out first and then filling around them with black. For the worms, I added some that looked like they were under the skin and others that were popping out. Try to keep the color separate so that your worms don't end up mushing together into one big super worm. I'm an idiot and apparently didn't film outlining the worms. I did the exact same thing as the little worms around the eyes where I just used a black eyeliner pen to trace around them and adding little lines down it. And after everything is outlined, that's it. You're done. 